whether or not a chemical reaction is spontaneous or not doesn't tell you anything about how fast or slow the chemical reaction occurs. That's all about kinetics, which we've talked about previously, all right? Thermodynamics, which is going to help us understand whether or not something is spontaneous, is, but goes back to uh, state function, where all we have to worry about is what the beginning state is and what the end state is. That's all we need to know. Doesn't matter what goes on in the middle, we'll be able to figure out if it's spontaneous or not, okay? So a really good example of a spontaneous chemical reaction that doesn't really tell you anything about kinetics is diamonds. Okay, so diamonds are just carbon. We're talking about carbon. Okay, it's an allotrope of carbon. So an allotrope is just a fancy way of saying that some elements come in different forms naturally. So you've got graphite, that's the amorphous solid. Okay, um, and then diamond is the crystalline solid of carbon. All right, so does anybody have any bling on? Uh, I say bling, I'm cool. Okay, you got some bling? All right. So right now, those carbon atoms are spontaneously turning back into graphite. Right now, as we speak. Okay, that's the spontaneous direction, so they do that. Okay, it just turns out that it takes about a million years for that to happen. So you're good. Your bling's good. Okay, so it's a spontaneous chemical reaction, but the kinetics are really slow. Okay. Yeah, it will. I mean, the carbon atoms will start to move back into an amorphous uh, arrangement, and they'll start to get darker and darker, and then pretty much it's carbon. So, what people I've never seen it. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When people digging for diamonds, they most likely find graphite if it's that old. Well, I don't know. I don't know how the mining of diamond, if it's around graphite deposits as well. I don't know. Probably. That's not a terrible idea. But of course, we can go the other way now. You can make, you can take graphite. We can make synthetic diamonds. Yeah, we can take. No, I don't know about that. And so, yeah, so we make synthetic diamonds. We take graphite, high temperature, high pressure, just like Earth does, makes diamonds. Um, and for a long time, uh, that industry wasn't that good, and they would just be used for industrial purposes, like diamond tip drills. That's what they would use them. But now, the synthetic diamonds. Are like they make them so well that you can't tell the difference between a naturally occurring diamond and uh, a, a synthetic one. 